welcome to Lane's Minutes channel. My name is Gintara and today we are going to make negative molds. First thing is first, make something that you can mold. For this tutorial, I decided to replicate gills that I found on Pinterest. This was created by RBFX. As you can see, they made a beautiful sculpt on the face cast, but honestly, you can make these sort of gills not having a face cast, just use some tablecloth underneath. So that was pretty easy, it only took me a whole day. Of course, the look of it may not be as appealing as in the reference picture, but hey, we'll get there. This time, I'm going to skip the lining because I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough air dry clay to make a wall all around the future prosthetic. So instead I'm gonna make the wall super close to the edge of the sculpt and that should give enough of a thin prosthetic edge later on. I say should because it might not work for you the first time you make it. Note how I am strengthening the outside wall with more clay because I want to make sure that the plaster wouldn't seep through the gaps. Also, just in case I cling wrap everything so the walls wouldn't unstick either. Then I miss our expensive but not some Glarbo Schnorps plaster with cold water until it becomes sour cream consistency. It is better to make less of it and mix up more later because we will not waste a product that way. Before that, yes, I kind of forgot to Vaseline everything. I always cover everything with a generous coat of Vaseline and fan everything a little on medium heat setting so that Vaseline would seep into every crevasse. And now after you undone yourself some hard work, just pour the mass into the middle and then shake everything to shake out the air bubbles. And that's why we use tablecloths. Wait for about 8 hours to dry and demold. If you haven't seen my previous face cast video, I will repeat once again. If you leave plaster to dry for longer than 12 hours, the plaster will soak up all of the Vaseline and it will be impossible to remove. Since we are doing flat mold, this might not be the case, but if you do this on the face cast, never forget this rule. Also, if you use monster clay, I would suggest you to bake it and then try to remove because cool monster is a bit difficult to remove. The best part about this, since we done a flat mold, we can do unlimited copies of these gills. Say what? You can make all of your friends mermaids or mermans now, just in time for Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and if you like, consider subscribing. All of my links will be listed down below as well as my Patreon and I will see you in my next video about how to make gelatin at home.